previously on. Let's go. Meow meow. Damn. My bad. I'm sorry. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. Do you want to get pleased too? How are you? People don't say no to me. Well, I do, so suck Not a for dick. Long. Alright, let me take a look here. Thomas and Martha Wayne. Founders of Wayne Enterprises. My parents. Dad was a physician. Mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expending their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempt robbery, robbery by a man known as Joe Chill. Alfred Pennyworth, Wayne family butler. Faithful, patient, and ever helpful Alfred. He's been a part of the family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's my butler, my confidant, and my most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Harvey Dent. Gotham City District Attorney, Meryl Candidate. A new friend and the best district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save the city. I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. Hamilton Hill, Mayor of Gotham City. Exhibit A in What's Wrong with the City. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's run to the core, and one day this city will realize it. Harvey is out there doing his best, and hopefully this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Cat burglar. Crimes, burglary, petty larceny. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many crews behind. Currently, this GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Oswald Copperpot, a.k.a. Penguin. Wait, that's Penguin? Crimes. Arms dealing, illegal boxing matches, receiving stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England, and there our paths diverged. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet. And a strange nickname. The Penguin? What happened to you, Oz? James Gordon. Lieutenant, GCPD, Mayor Crimes Unit Associates. Barbara Gordon, daughter. He's a good, by-the-book cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently tapped to lead the Major Crimes Tax Force. An impressive promotion, he so he's doing something alone. right. I think he could be a trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risk on the street. That's fine, I'll take the risk. Vicky Vale, investigative journalist, Gotham Gazette. One of the Gazette's most ambitious and com competent reporters. I read her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. Carmen Falcone, Skyline Club owner, head of Falcone crime family. The worst kind of gangster. One who tries to mingle with high society. 
He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him to jail, but he'll walk the next day. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in this place. His empire is vast and multi-layered, finding hard, admissible evidence is required for a conviction. Gotham City. Sorry. Gotham City. Population 10 million. That's a lot of people. This city is like a living creature. It's always growing outward and upward. The people who live here are survivors. They have to be. And they deserve better than the corruption that infests this place. Arkham Asylum. Established November 1921. Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital for now. Outdated in every way, building is falling apart. Equipment is an antiquated. And the staff's mythology leaves much to be desired. When the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Wayne Enterprises, established 1870. Damn, they've been around that long? Holy shit. Multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manner of manufacturing and finance. I inherited a majority stake from my father, but I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day operations. However, the R&D resources have been helpful in pursuing my private interests. And that's it. Nice. So, what is there for me to... Oh. Nearly fell off a building for this? So yeah, I like how basically there's like a little background for each character in the story, but right now let's go ahead and access what um, back row, not back row, what Catwoman is trying to do. Let's see what this is. DA Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to persecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at a City Hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigil vigilantism in Gotham, from the uptick in citizen-led shootings to the costume superhero Batman. Okay, so Harvey Dent is against Batman. That sucks. Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlogs indexes in the state. His groundbreaking Victims Assistance Program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. That's nice. Police Lieutenant Tap to Lead Tax Force. Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Gordon appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major tax force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insists that we are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing in mass in our city. At present, they are known, but not unnoticed. We will find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the USMC before joining the GCPD and has quickly risen through the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Oh shit, Gordon's an army man. Thank you for your service. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacements. The charitable arm of Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zellerback, has announced funding for a new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly, prisoner escapes. But soon, that would no longer be the case. 
the Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. Alright, so at least we have some news on what's going on within the town. Let's see what this is. You know, I know it's pretty hard to just live sometimes knowing that you could possibly be blaming yourself for the death of your parents, but Bruce, it's not your fault. It's really not. Alright, so now that we got the backgrounds of each character, and also a little bit more background towards what's going on in the city, let's take a look at the database that she was trying to take. Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. Damn. And yet I always find you here. In a that's dark, a damp cave. That's a lot of cleaning. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house. You know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Damn, sure, okay. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. How you know which keys to press? There's no letters or numbers. Okay, so to rotate the hologram, use left joystick, so... This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Ha, <laughs> funny. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. What is that? Yeah, oh. The same couldn't be said Gee. for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left. Including Mr. Falcone. Thank God. Hate the guy. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah. Thanks for the interruption. Appreciate well, it you. It wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. Hmm. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. Pretty sexy, you too. could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Mm, damn. You know, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. <laughs> the media isn't good for anyone's health. I love no, Alfred. I He's so sarcastic. Argument, but... No one's going to figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's no, okay. I, you're fine. I know you're only looking out for me. Yeah, I appreciate it. If you make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm oh. not partial to heights. Aw, he's <sighs> so cute. Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. 
One more worry for the list. All right. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? Yep. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You He's changed, both though. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, I'm Alfred. Batman, that's when why. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. I hope I'm not walking into a trap, man. I'm really not. Damn, this park has seen its better days. So much graffiti, a lot of homeless people ha hang around. It definitely died down. Holy shit. Where are you, Oz? Let's go. Wait, wait, what's this? Wayne shuns Falcone. You need a cough drop, okay. I didn't get to oh, I can't I didn't even get to see the other stuff. Okay, whatever. Alright, let me take a look here. Are you okay, bro? <coughs> Shit. Fuck it, why not? Uh, thank you, sir. Anything to help? Okay, let's see what's over here. If you're cold, why didn't you bring a jacket, Bruce? I can't stand you. Alright. Mm -hmm. Running late, meet you by the statue. Right. There's the statue, but no Oz. Like I said, I feel like I'm walking into a trap. Like, this is so suspicious. Yeah, like, where is this guy? Yep, let me bother him, why not? Hey. Beat it! Alright. Good conversation. Love it. Mm, I don't see anything here. Whatever. Cobble Pot Park, established 27th well, it isn't September. What it used to be. Damn, I couldn't even read it. Okay, fine. I guess I did enough reading for this episode, so the game is like, you know what? Stop reading. Okay. I hope that's you, Oswald. Watch oh. wallet cash. Fuck out of here. Are you serious? But this goes through you. So you told me to beat it, and yet, oh. Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? <sighs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Are you serious, bitch? Okay, Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, alright? 
this don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're the moment! Come here. Take Damn. Open his ass. Okay, I see you. Stay down! Holy shit. Oh, come on, really? A gun? Let's go. This Damn. Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Right in the face. I love it. Damn. I think you made your point, buddy. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Ill. Yeah. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. Twenty years, and yeah. You know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know. Like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> So Mom why are you here? Committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. Damn. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. Your life I sucks, know. bro. Alfred told me. So why are you here? It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Okay. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnob and parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. And resentment and jealousy. Good and like... haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although. I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. That's because of Harvey's dumbass. By himself right at home. That oily. <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And so that's why you're towards here. New pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Okay, so what do you want? You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Thanks for the warning. I appreciate it. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Damn, now I gotta watch my back out because of Oz. 
press conference for new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on the south side of the park. Okay. Let's go. Damn, so Oz came to warn me about possible, what, domestic terrorism he's about to do? Ugh, I really hope that's not a threat to me. Specifically, but that would suck to have me go against a former friend. Like, that's just fucking bullshit. Mr. Wayne, over here! Right here! This way! Okay, I'm Bruce, here. Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Talk. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid escape, are even more dangerous than mm -hmm. before they went in. Call me Arkham okay. Asylum Shit. is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Damn, I did have a speech prepared. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. It's okay, Bruce. You <clears throat> got this. We needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. You got this, Bruce. It's okay. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. There you go. I'm proud of you, Bruce. I'm I know that was hard. Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. I mean, that building is we, all right, outdated anyways, so... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. Hello, My Julia. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? What's the tax? Let's see, let's see. Urgent. GCPD is But Mr. Here. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly what did you are say? you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. What do the you mean? The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. What? Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Okay. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. 
Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the Damn. allegations be true? This is a disaster, bro. Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Branch controls my territory. We'll talk later. Thank you. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. The fuck? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.